So we're going to start off with a little warm up. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Cartwheel! Good morning everybody and welcome to P with Joe. We are going to be doing a 20 minute workout together. I've also got a really great quiz today. The focus of today's quiz is on animals, so wildlife and animals. So we've got 15 questions and I'll be asking those as we go along and also we'll have some shout outs. So Dom, we've got a little warm up time. Let's do a minute and 20 seconds of shout outs while we warm up. Good morning to St. Bernard's Primary School in, in Belfast. Good morning, Garrow Hill Primary School in Glasgow. Good morning to Lynn, who is 67, in where? In Hayes, and she's never missed a workout. And I need to turn my uh, microphone up. My uh, AirPods is too quiet. Okay, I'm back. Right, and Paige, age seven, who is uh, in North Wales. Good morning, Ethan and Jacob in Totteridge. Big circles. And Rafi and Andrea in Cornwall. So if you want a birthday shout out, put it in the comments. Dom's on the phone, he's calling me up and we're gonna, he's reading them out from the screen. So, we're gonna start in 20 seconds time. Our first exercise, they're called clap unders. So you're gonna lift your leg up and clap your hands underneath your leg. So, it's 35 seconds of work, then we stop and we have a 25 second rest. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So clap those hands underneath your legs. It's 20 minute workout, it's 10 exercises to do, and we're gonna do two rounds in total. So hands underneath the, the knees and clap your hands together, perfect. Keep it going, we've got 15 seconds on the clock, and I'll give you question number one of our quiz. And the quiz today is all about animals. Okay, perfect, come on, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so rest. Question number one. How many tentacles does an octopus have? Is it four, eight, or 12? How many tentacles does an octopus have? Right, next exercise, they're called mummy kicks. You kick your feet out in front of the list, and you cross your arms over like you're coming out of the tomb, you're a mummy. So you kick and cross the arms over. Kick your feet out in front. Let's go. So the answer is an octopus has eight tentacles. Right, let's go. Kick forwards. So kicking those feet, crossing the arms over. Question number two. What is a group of lions called? What is a group of lions called? Right, keep going. Kick, arms. Cross over, feet kick out in front of you. What is a group of lions called? The answer is, it's called a pride. A pride of lions. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, Dom, let's have some shout outs. Good morning to Treetops Nursery in Kirkham. Have a lovely workout, everybody. Shout out to Lulu, training in Dubai with her mum. Right, next exercise. It's jab, cross, jab, cross, knee, knee. So jab, cross, jab, cross, knee, knee. Off we go. Ready? Jab, cross, jab, cross, knee, knee. And again, jab, cross, jab, cross, knee. Repeat that, so it's four punches and two knees. Good, keep going, come jab, cross, jab, cross, knee, knee. Perfect, faster, one, two, one, two. Nearly there. Jab, cross, jab, cross, knee, knee. And again. Jab, cross, jab, cross, knee, knee. Last 10 seconds. Okay, we've got a question coming up. The next question is gonna be question number three. Here we go, well done, relax, recover, catch your breath. Question number three, what is a baby kangaroo called? We talk about this a lot and we put it in our pouch and we do our kangaroo hops. What is a baby kangaroo called? Okay, next exercise. We're going to do power squats. So feet together like this, and then we go fingertips to the floor. So go down and up, down and up. Are you ready? Here we go. Down and up. Okay, so a baby kangaroo 
is called a joey. A baby kangaroo is called a joey. Well done if you got that one right. Come on, keep going. Okay, little update on the live viewers. We've got 62,000 live streamers. That's schools, it's families, kids all over the world taking part. It's amazing. Hundreds of thousands of people at once. Fingertips hit the floor. Seven seconds. Okay, next question. This is a good one. What is... And relax. Question number four. There's 15 in total. What is the largest mammal in the world? What is the largest mammal in the world? So next exercise we're going to do is down on the ground. We're going to do a plank. So we're going to lift ourselves up using our core muscles here. Elbows on the floor. And then we're going to lift up and hold that for 35 seconds. Let's go, hold on. Let me just give the answer to this one. So the answer to question four, what is the largest mammal in the world? It's an Antarctic blue whale. So it's a big blue whale, I mean they are huge. Right, keep going, hold yourself up. Big shout out to Cody, age 10 in Seaford. Have a great workout, Cody. And Theo and Julie training together in Ipswich. Come on, Theo. Right, stay up, hold last few seconds. Four, three, two, one, and recover. Brilliant. Okay, I'm ready for question number five. This is a good one. How many bones do sharks have? 20 bones, 120 bones, or zero bones? How many bones does a shark have? Okay, up we get. Next one we're gonna do is gonna be jogging on the spot, so nice and fast, running on the spot as quick as we can, lift those knees up, let's get our heart rate to the max. Let's go. Jogging on the spot, this is number six. Okay, so the answer is bones, I can't believe this, sharks have zero bones. So that is amazing. Right, let's go, lift up, fast feet, lift those knees, pump the arms. We've got, look at the clock, we've got 15 seconds. Keep running everyone, come on, high energy. Push yourselves, let's go, lift up our energy, 10 seconds. Okay, come on. Right, next up we've got some shout outs coming up. We've got some shout outs coming up. And relax. Okay, Darcy, age 10. Thank you for joining me today, Darcy. Big up, Millbrook Primary School, year three. Have a great workout. Millbrook. We've got Bruton Primary School in Wren in the house. Enjoy the workout, keep going. And the Groves family in Somerset. Next up we've got star jumps. Let's go. Star jumps, brilliant. Okay, next question. Number six. In which two continents can you find wild elephants? In which two continents can you find wild elephants? Right, come on, star jump. Keep going. Keep it going. So it's two continents in the world where you can find wild elephants. Hands up, come on, push. Last 10 seconds. Speed up, go. Turbo speed, turbo. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax, recover. The answer is, you can find wild elephants in Africa and Asia. So well done, I've got both those right, that's two points, excellent. Shout out to Dario in Aberdeen, who's training with his dad. Have a good workout, boys. Next exercise we're gonna do is knee smashes. So basically you're gonna drive your knee up like this and smash your knee. So down, up, down. Imagine you're pulling like a watermelon from the sky and you're crushing it on your knee. Crush it on your knee, good. Smash it, keep going, drive up. Shout out to Cameron, who's eight in Edinburgh. Lots of love to you, mate. Keep it going, Edinburgh's a beautiful city. I went down on my motorbike, amazing. Come on, let's go. 10 seconds, 10. Nine, come fast. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Next question. What? Number seven. Where, where is a shrimp's heart located? On a shrimp, where is their heart? Where is the where is the heart? Hang. On. Where is a shrimp's heart located? This is crazy, right? So high knees and climb the rope. That's our next exercise. Climb that ladder. Climb the rope as fast as you can. Here we go, come on, let's do this. Right, high, high knees. So the answer is, 
can't believe it, a shrimp's heart is located in their head. Their heart is in their head, so maybe they've got a really small brain. Right, keep going. High knees, climb the rope. Come on. Good morning, Jack and Tom us in South Wales. Having a great session, are you? Let's go. Ah, oh, 10 seconds. And shout out to Jaden, happy birthday mate, who's 10 today. Come on Jaden, let's go. Birthday workout, birthday boy. And, and relax, okay. Deep breaths, we're now gonna have one more, work, one more exercise, then we'll have a minute or two, uh, let's have a two minute break. Catch our breath, do some shout outs. So, number eight. What is the only bird which can fly backwards? What is the only bird that can fly backwards? Okay, right. Next exercise is the ice skaters, so we skate left to right, let's go. So, finish this one, then we'll have a little break and do some more shout outs. So any schools, any teachers, any kids that want to shout out, put it in the comments and we'll try and do your school in, your, in, the, uh, in the little interval. Right, let's go left to right. Nice big jumps, ice skate, using those legs, perfect. Last few seconds, we've got 10 on the clock. Well done for getting all the quiz questions right. Every Wednesday is a quiz and it's a different theme each week. And Friday again, you know it's coming. Fancy dress, Friday. Right, relax, let's pause the timer. Let's have a little breather. Uh, let's do one more question quickly. So the answer was, the only bird which can fly backwards is one of those really fast ones. It's a hummingbird. A hummingbird can fly backwards. It's the only bird in the world that can do that. Okay, brilliant. So, Dom. Let's have some shout outs. I want some birthdays, I want some schools. Let's go around the world. Shoot. Happy 47th birthday, Kirsty in Sherston. Have an amazing work. Happy birthday. Happy 7th birthday, Hamaya in Slough. Have a lovely day, Hamaya. We've got another 7th birthday, Megan in Bishop's. Bishop's. Storford, Bishop Storford. So many beautiful parts in that part of the world. And again. Happy ninth birthday to Lucy Robinson. Big up Mandeville Primary School in St Albans. Enjoy the workout, we've got 10 more minutes to go. Let's get cracking. So I'll press start on that timer again. We've got another 20 seconds of recovery. So we're back into those clap unders. Clap unders. Okay, next question, number nine. What is the name for a group of ants? What is the name for a group of ants? Anyone know that one? Okay, here we go. So, <whistles> clap on those. Let's do it, come on. So now we're awake, let's go a bit harder, push a bit more for this last 10 minutes. Hands up, clap, clap, let's hear some claps, come on, let's hear some loud claps, clap, clap. Knees up, come on, all the way. 35 seconds. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! Keep going. One, two, one, two. Come on. Ah, oh. ah, oh, Joe's tired today. Right, keep going. Last few seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Recover, catch your breath. The answer is number nine. Uh, a group of ants is called a colony, a colony of ants. Okay, number 10, are you ready for it? Number 10, a mandrill is a type of which animal? A mandrill is a type of which animal? Next up is the mummy kicks. So keep the feet out in front, cross the arms over. Let's go, so number 10, a mandrill is which type of animal? The answer is, it's a monkey. It's a monkey, right, keep going, monkey. Okay, keep going, kick, kick, kick. Shout out to Cooper, who's five in Cumbria. Come on. Jimmy Conroy, age eight in Dublin. Hold tight, Dublin in the house, come on. Keep going, woo! Right, let's go. St Margaret's Primary School in Manchester. In the house, training with the body coach, right. Catch a breath, next question. True or false, bats are mammals. True or false, bats, as in bats, are mammals. Next exercise is jab, cross, jab, cross, knee, 
Knee. Okay, so from the side. Knee. Knee. Here we go. Cross, jab, cross. Knee. Knee. Cross, jab, cross. Knee. So the answer is number 11. Bats are mammals. It's true. A bat is a mammal. Right, let's go. Knee. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Knee. Knee. And again. Last 15 seconds. Really bring that knee up nice and high, long straight punches, and a knee, and knee. 10 seconds. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, three. Come on, last one. One, two, three, four. Knee, knee, and relax. Right, let's recover. Deep breaths, you're doing really well. Well done, everybody. Next question is number 12. Is a shark a fish or a mammal? Is a shark a fish or a mammal? What do we think? Next up, 10 seconds time, we've got those power squats with feet together. We go down and up, and each time your fingertips touch the ground. Are you ready? Okay, the answer is a shark is a fish. A shark's just a big fish with big teeth. So it's not a mammal. Right, let's go. Shout out to Rainbow Nursery in Tower Hamlets. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, let's keep going, come on, let's do it. Good morning to the Barrett family, training together in Winchester. Right, faster. Oh, our legs are burning now, legs are burning. Come on. And relax. I'm loving all the shout outs. Remember, give us a high five, hit the like button. How many high fives have we got done? Four and a half thousand, come on. Let's get it to 10. And we've got 70,000 live streams. Okay, next exercise is the plank. So down on the ground, holding the plank. Let's hold ourselves up. Hold ourselves up. 70,000 live streams, that's incredible numbers. And we've got 4,500 high fives. Come on, let's get it up to 10,000. Okay, hold. Right, quick question for the comments. Any guesses as to what I'm going to be dressed as on Friday morning? For P with Joe, Fancy Dress Fridays. Remember, every Friday is Fancy Dress. You can dress up yourself if you like, or you can just laugh at me in my silly outfit. Right, hold yourself up, we've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. So yeah, let me know what you think, what we could be dressed, what I could be dressed as. Okay, question number 13. The crocodile species is believed to have been around for how long? Is it two million years or 200 million years? The crocodile species is, has, is said to have been around for how long? Two million years or 200 million years? That's a good one. Okay, we're gonna run on the spot, let's go. Jogging, come on. Nice and quick, lift those knees up. Good morning, Jake and Tommy, trying to get in Kent. Let's go boys, come on. Sienna Palmer, good evening down under in Australia. This is amazing, it's not even just the UK, it's all over the world. India, South America, we've got people in Asia, Australia, it's, I love it, I love it. Come on, let's go, keep running. Five seconds. Ah. Nearly there, nearly there. And relax, right. Let's, let's do the answer to that question. So, the crocodile species is believed to have been around for 200 million years, wow. They're basically survivors from the crocodiles, so, so, from the dinosaur race, so they're like basically descendants of dinosaurs, amazing, 200 million years old. Okay, next up is the star jumps. Are you ready for the star jumps? Only two more questions on the quiz. Two more questions. So this is number 14. Question 14. What colour is a polar bear's skin underneath the fur? So obviously we know the fur is white, but what colour is the skin of a polar bear? Because it looks very white on the outside, but it's not. Its skin is a different colour. What colour is a polar bear? Polar bear skin. I'll tell you the question, the answer in eight seconds. Right, let's go. Fast, all the way there. Five, four, three, two, one. Somebody said I should dress up as SpongeBob SquarePants. I've got some good outfits. I've got three new outfits for the next three weeks, and they're all pretty good. Right, the answer is a polar bear skin, believe it or not, although it has white fur, it's actually got black skin. So underneath, if you were to 
give it a haircut, you'd see the skin would be really dark. Right, next exercise is the knee smash. Remember, grab that watermelon and crush it on your knee. Let's go. Okay, are you ready for the 15th and final question? Here we go. Do camels store water? A, yes in the hump, or B, no, they can go for long periods of time without water. So, do camels store water? Is the answer yes, they, they, do, they store it in a hump, or is it B, no, they can go for long periods of time without water? Right, let's go. Lift up. Three, two, one, and relax. So, the answer is, it may look like a big water bag of water on their back, but they can actually go a long, long time without water. And the, the, uh, the hump is actually a fat store, so it's an energy source, but it's actually fat, body fat, to give them energy. So they can really go a long time without water. That's why they come for the desert and all the heat. That's it, that's the end of the quiz. Next question is the ladder time. Sorry, next question is the ladder time. So well done if you got all 15 questions right. Brilliant quiz. Some of them are tricky ones. Right, let's go, speed up. We've only got one more move. Harry Potter, I dressed up as Harry Potter. I've done that last time, don't you remember? I had, had the Harry Potter, I had all the Spider-Man, Batman, the stick. What, just a helmet, crash helmet. Oh, right, keep going. Eight seconds, six, come on, fast. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, this is it, the final move. We've got the ice skaters. Then we'll have a quick, oh, drop me an airpod, airpod. Right, we're gonna do the ice skaters. Still there, Dom? So we're gonna go left to right, left to right, and then we'll do a couple more shout outs at the end. Thank you for all your high fives, Dom. How many high fives have we got now? Eight and a half thousand, come on, let's get it to 10,000. Hit that like button, it's the thumbs up, the like, the high five. Let's get to 10,000. So left to right. You're ice skating all the way across the ice, left to right. Someone said I should dress up as Peter Pan. Someone said I should dress up as a banana. Left, right, this is it, last 15 seconds. Come on, speed up. Come on, skating, skating. Let's go, last few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, we did it. 20 minute PE with Joe workout. Well done, everyone. give yourself a big clap. You're amazing, you're all little superheroes. High fives, high fives, high fives to everybody. Okay, let's do a couple of shout outs done before we finish, before we say goodbye to everybody. Let's have some birthday shout outs and all around the world, off we go. Hello Noah Randall, who's eight years old in Kent. Have a great day, Noah. Hello to the Harvey family, training together, absolute champions in Scotland. Thanks for joining me today. Tia and Addison in Sheffield. Good morning, Tia and Addison. Have a lovely day. Good morning, Jess, who's three years old in Devon. Have a great day, Jess. Happy birthday to you. Right, okay. Happy fifth birthday to Rory in Ashton Clinton. Happy 10th birthday, Carla in Glasgow. So many birthdays today, what day is it? Happy birthday, when's it the 20th? And happy 8th birthday to Alex in Petersfield. Let's have one more, Dom. One more for the road, and we'll see you Friday at 9 a.m. for Peter with Joe. Fantastic Friday. Happy 10th birthday to Sylvie in Cornwall. Thank you so much for joining in today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a lovely day. You're all champions. Well done on completing the session, it was quite a tough one. And I'll see you Friday, 9am, right here. And I'll be in a very, very funny and hot and sweaty outfit. You don't want to miss it on Friday. See you there, good luck.